everyone, I'm Carrie Gatto with Keller Williams Realty and on today's episode of Let's Get Down to Business, I am interviewing Mary Boris, who is the owner of Thalassa. Hi Mary, how are you? I'm doing well, Carrie, how are you? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for being on Let's Get Down to Business. You have um, such a unique business model. I can't wait to talk more about it. Can you um, briefly describe your business to start us off? Yeah, so um, my business is called Thalassa. Um, it's primarily an online store and it's all um, art and handmade items that I curate and it's all uh, curated on the theme of ocean inspired. So um, mm -hmm. I just find like a, a variety of, of things, um, primarily um, art and like gifts, um, also with a a focus on sustainability. So a lot of the artists I partner with will actually be like upcycling or reusing materials in some way. Um, so wow. yeah, wow. I do what some is, some markets and events as well, um, but primarily exists online currently. Very cool. And what inspired you to start this business? So, um, I've, I've always wanted to start my own business and um, I'm very passionate about art and uh, just like handmade items. Um, and also I, I love the ocean. Uh, I grew up on the water and it's kind of like the place that I'm happiest is, is by the water. Um, so I basically thought like trying to combine these two might actually be like a fun business idea and, yeah. and resonate with people, so. Oh, that's so great. I love that. Um, and I know you you're mostly online, but where are you located? Where are you based out of? So I'm currently based out of my home in East Boston. So um, yeah, and we actually have a, on the site, if you are local to the East Boston area, you can um, do a pickup in the neighborhood too, if you prefer not to have your order shipped. So okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, how, how do you find your clients? So, uh, like my customers or. Yeah. Or, or your vendors. Okay. Either or both. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. um, my, my customers oh, right now it's primarily through like word of mouth, um, like social media, um, and also uh, the markets I do. So like uh, I did some summer markets last last summer and some holiday markets as well. And so like, that's how I've been getting exposure mostly. Um, okay. And those are in the Boston area? Yes. Uh, so most have been in the Boston area and have like four lined up for the summer that will be wow. in Boston as well. Um, yeah. And then, I, for vendors, I, a lot of it is from people I know, or, um, you know, like, I guess also I, I do find people through like Instagram as well, but a, a lot of the vendors I work with, I've, I've known, you know, from friends or, um, I also worked at a, a great shop called Magpie in Davis Square, where they work with a lot of independent artists. Um, so I've like had builds up these relationships over the years. So they're pretty much local as well, the artisans that you work with? Uh, yeah, so most of them are Massachusetts based. Um, there's, I think, like a handful out of the state, but most will be in the Boston area. You can have one person in Maine and one person in Georgia, but they are both originally from New England. So um, yeah, so primarily mass based artists. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. What's your favorite part about the business? Personally? Oh, yeah. Um, sorry for the noise. Um, so I, I think my, my favorite part is like the curating piece where I get to just like find like art that I find to be exciting and interesting and, and promoting these emerging artists. Um, like I, I just, it's, it's really fun for me to like kind of tell a story and like carry on the theme of ocean inspired. Um, mm -hmm. like for me, it's like, doesn't seem to ever 
be boring. It's just like constantly inspiring to me. Um, so yeah, I just, I, the relationships I build with the, the different makers I work with, it's, it's incredibly gratifying. And then being able to help get them more exposure is, is really cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, has anything surprised you about owning this business? Um, I would say, I guess, especially meeting people in person and kind of like explaining the concept and, and having them check out like the, the, um, the works that I'm bringing to the um, markets. You can just tell right away, like when it clicks, like when the idea is like, it resonates with them. And I'm, wow. it's just like, yeah, that was, that was interesting. I mean, it's not for everyone. Like not, I wouldn't say like everyone is like a beach person or like, like, so at home at by the water, but when, when somebody is, it's like, you can tell they get so excited and you can see it in their face. So it's, it's really nice. That's neat. Yeah. Um, do you have any goals for the coming year? Um, so I think my, my big goals are going to be, um, you know, going to the markets, um, kind of trying to get the the business name and and concept out there more um i i'm am thinking about curating like an exhibition and a physical space too um so well looking to to potentially partner with a with a gallery or um somebody who has like a a space that could host that kind of event um and uh, what else I guess also just looking looking for more artists and makers and um, to continue, you know, finding awesome awesome work to to show on my website Excellent. and in person. Yeah. And is it is it um is are the, most of the products paintings or you know framed wall art and things like that or um, can you give us a sense? Yeah. Of reality. Yeah. So. Um, it's it's a I would say it's a variety definitely on the more like affordable like kind of like side like a, a lot of works are um like art on paper so it would be like either an original print or a like reproduction of an original so um that's like like yeah I would say works on paper some paintings um I have some really cool um, sculptures. They're like hanging sculptures made from driftwood that this woman collects on the beach in the hot. Mm -hmm. So, so it's all like like materials that she finds, and she's like cleaning the beach of like like the rope that she finds to like string up the piece, and it's it's so cool. Um, wow. There's, yeah, there's some some ceramics, um, some jewelry. Uh, I'm trying to think there's textiles um yeah everything has like a, a pretty much like it's either a local artist's reproduction of their you know original art or it's a handmade piece awesome awesome and I'm just curious are you an artist yourself as well yeah actually <laughs> um yeah my background is in fine arts I, I went to mass art and um also love making things too so i uh, yeah another goal would be to start making more products for the the shop that i produce as well um nice so what um anything else you do besides work i know you do art and you probably like going to the beach <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> um yeah i'm well when i'm when i'm not working like to to run um and like get outside as much as possible it's like starting to be nice to do that again in boston <laughs> mm -hmm. um and yeah i love i love to travel too so now that it's it's been safer to do that i've been enjoying we you know getting out a little bit <laughs> right um, okay. yeah and seeing seeing art wherever I go, um, and whether in the Boston area or wherever I'm, whatever new city or place I'm visiting. Awesome. Yeah. So lastly, Mary, what's the best way for people to contact you, um, check out your art, or even connect with you about, you know, um, helping get exposure for their art? Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, so I'm on Instagram. Um, the Instagram is shop underscore Thalassa. It's T-H-A-L-A-S-S-A. -S -S -A. Um, my email is hello.thalassa at gmail.com. Um, or you can go to my website, shopthalassa.com, and um, all of my uh, contact info and social media accounts are there. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time and uh, telling us more about your business and you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me, Carrie. You got it, Mary. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a great day. Take care.